Hi everyone and welcome back. In the last video about the full guide of ASUS GPU Tweak 3 app, there was also a part about the voltage frequency tunnel, which can be useful in different cases. Well, let's check that out where and how we can use it. Alright guys, here we have the GPU Tweak 3, this is the last version, it's 1.5.4.9. You can see here we have all, everything in default mode, I will leave it as it is, the only thing I'm gonna change is the fan speeds to 100% because when we are trying to go and overclock the GPU on the core, the fan curve anyway is set it up to 100% uh, as soon as the, um, the GPU is reaching the 77 more or less degrees so i will set them to 100 percent in any case so we can have a kind of, a kind of consistency in the temps and also in the cooling so what i'm going to do now is run the time spy with all the default settings and check um, the temps and also the performances all right here we got the results not bad i have to say let me take note of this in my high scientific file here all right so i have to took note of all the values here and let me go back to the GPU tweak 3 now uh, here you can find the voltage frequency tunnel if you click on this icon here and this is all the curve now mm, Asus isn't uh, the GPU tweak 3 isn't is not like uh, MSI afterburner or other softwares that you might use for um, overclocking so here you can do only the, the overclock and you cannot do what is called uh, undervolting and underclocking. I mean, and overclocking. You can do it, but it's a little bit different. Um, you have to lock a certain frequency, a certain voltage related to a certain frequency. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Okay, here we have the voltage frequency curve editor on MSI Afterburner. Let's say we want the GPU to be hmm, this value. And we want to rise it up up to I believe here was the safest place for this GPU. So we have locked all the voltage frequencies, all the voltage uh, values, as you can see, to this frequency. So uh, moving back to the Azu GPU Tweak 3, we can see this uh, this voltage frequency. Um, uh, tuner which is similar to the MSI after now before starting changing everything and going deeply I suggest you guys to create as I've done for example testing overclock uh, and uh, you have to you have to create a new profile here by clicking add new I suggest to do that so you are not going to mess with all the other um, default settings that we have here so let me move back here I'm going to click on default so we will start from the beginning all right here we go so let's have a quick look here you have we have the OSI scanner uh, basically the um, Azure GPU 3, uh, 3 app is going to scan the, the performances of the GPU and related to the power and so on so if I click start for example you can change all these sliders so you can tell to the GPU to get the maximum of the maximum now we know that this the 30 series has a boost a different boost from that so I know for for sure that for example uh, you can rise up to 135 more or less to be sure in most of the applications and most of the games not all the games are going to work with that because some of them they are going to crash because they don't like the when you apply a, an overclock or undervolt take as an example cyberpunk or or red dead redemption 2 and they they are a little bit sensitive on that on i have noticed that they are a little bit sensitive on when you underclock on or, or overclock undervolt and overclock the, the gpu so uh, with that said here we have all the uh, all the values all the dots let's say which are related to the voltage to the voltage values here and uh, here we have the movement step side which is uh, default 15 megahertz and here we have all these uh, dots that you can all these uh, let's say choices that you can uh, click on them default is going to revert to the default settings so you can click on default and apply and uh, you have remember to save anytime you are changing something OSI scanner is going to apply the profile of the OSI scanner so when you start the OSI scanner is going to take some numbers on that some values on that and is going to apply that profile driver profile which is a little bit confusing to me because um, you might think okay it's applying what on uh, what on the driver are um, what on the Nvidia drivers you are uh, setting which is not the case <laughs> driver profile is simply what they mean is uh, when you change something here is going to save it 
on the driver on the driver profile which uh to be honest is strange i probably have i would have called with another name uh previous setting if you ch are changing something and you want to revert to the uh, settings that were working while you were changing something you can click on previous setting and you are going to click on apply and as usual self save um i'm going to start uh, with these settings with the default settings and change something what we can do here for sure is change uh, overclock the gpu easy mm, here we have al also the command here so you can really easy now to use that so you can just click and do whatever you want to do now here is the thing you can't uh, for example let me say i want to grab this point here and move it up to let's say this value whatever and i'm going to apply as you can see it's not going even uh, it's not going to um, align all the dots something strange for example if i want to align all these dots with what are here you can click on this one here and you can click on apply it's not going to save those settings is uh, extremely strange in my opinion uh, I don't understand why and how they are doing this uh, even if you drag and drop like like so and you click on apply it's anyway going to change this curve this is not um, useful because the moment you the moment something is demanding more power is going to drag all the voltage fre uh, curve frequency up to here and it's going to consume more power and um, the purpose of undervolting is isn't uh, applied properly i've tried also let me close a little bit this window i've tried also dragging the power target um, less than what is the 100 percent but it's not changing anything whatever you let's say 83 percent whatever and you go to the default settings so whatever you are changing here is not going to be applied let's say this and um, let me drag all this so as you can see guys i'm doing the same thing as you usually do with msi after burner so let's say you are dragging all the points down because you want only this to be as a starting point as a reference point let's say so when you, whenever you click on apply it's not going to take in, it's not going to take in consideration this point here is uh, anyway applying uh, i believe if this is on the firmware of the gpu i believe this is that there, there are some values that um on on the GPU tweak 3 you cannot change it's really strange on the MSI afterburner we have let me show you something we have unlock voltage control extended MSI so you can do whatever you want in this case has been working for me with all the voltage um, settings and everything so on the GPU tweak you can do something similar so if you go on the settings my goodness what is all right enhance overclocking range which is something similar to the voltage it these um, settings and menus here doesn't have a precise um, sub menu for the voltage so, so as we have seen in the mess of the burner you ha you can you can uh, enhance you can extend extend the range of the voltage and so on but here we don't have that i believe this one can be something similar i think so what we can do here okay you can overclock the gpu easy by moving this one here let's say 134 maybe we can be safe somehow so what is going to change here is the uh, the consumption if you overclock the gpu is going to be more or less i believe 100 watt more more or less and the volts so the volts i'm sure is going to be 1.1 maybe so let me run Time spy with all these settings applied and check the performances. All right, guys, here we have the time spy score. More or less, the temps are still the same because, of course, we have uh, the fans at 100%, so the temps are not going to change, but are going to be more or less the same value. What we have here is almost 100 watts more. Uh, let's go quickly and check in my advanced <laughs> scientific file here. Yes, yeah, so like almost 100 watts more. Um, for not that much, to be honest, not that much um, gain in performances. Keep in mind that this is a um, synthetic bench, so you have to check it on game. Certain games might get beneficial from this uh, overclocking, but usually on this gpu i wouldn't recommend to overclock even with, with the stock settings you are more than okay in my opinion now what we are going to um test now is lock the frequency 
to certain uh, block the voltage to certain frequency frequency range uh, I have been doing some testing and this uh, 800 0.850 50 voltage millivolt millivolt is going to uh, we can going to gain more or less up to this value all almost 100 and yeah one uh, 18 and 190305 but I'm going to be a little less than 19 let's go with 1897 megahertz and for locking this you have to type on the keyboard uh, L and you are going to be locking everything it's not going to lock as so but you have to first apply and don't ask me why he's doing this is completely strange once you apply it's going to boost anyway 15 megahertz in boosting the changing the voltage related to the frequency it's a strange mechanism honestly so let's lock this frequency and with this frequency locked let's run again time, time spy and let's check the temp I'm almost sure it's going to be the same because of the fans but let's check how much is going to be the voltage and how much is going to be the, uh, the, the power consumption and the, the voltage in this case. Right guys as we can see we have some pretty interesting results here almost the same as the one with uh, overclocking. The only difference here is that let me double check here the uh, the wattage we have the same less wattage of course than the default settings and even with the overclock settings so we are saving some power here and the volt as we can see we have locked on 0 0.850 and the frequency is 1905 maximum so it's okay in my opinion is this result is more than okay this is nice if you want to go that um with that locking um, mechanism of locking the frequencies the only thing here is that you have to test now, on everything you are using softwares or whatever maybe you're doing video editing or whatever you are doing streaming or even sim simply gaming so you have to test those um, uh, those voltage uh, curve related to the frequency because not all the games are going to accept it and not all the games are going to, let's say, be safe with those settings. What I can suggest is to take this as a reference because in my uh, testing, a lot of games are working with this um, with these settings. Keep in mind that I'm changing only the clock uh, frequencies here. I'm not touching the memory clock. And the memory clock I'm leaving as the as um, with the default values. As we can see with Asus GPU Tweak, you can overclock and set up exactly and precisely on how you want to overclock your GPUs, mostly NVIDIA 30 series. The concept of undervolting and overclocking isn't clear and it seems that it isn't possible to do it easily and with as granular control as possible with the MSI afterburner. So if you guys want to simply overclock or underclock by simply dragging the power sliders, no problem at all. You can do it easily with the other GPU tweak. On the other hand, you can't have that full control on undervolting as MSI afterburner. So if you want to do that and if you have to have that full control on each dot on each point as we have seen in that window, I would suggest using MSI afterburner at this point. As usual, pay attention or on what you're doing because potentially you can cause system instability and some apps and games might crash frequently. Always test for a long time and in different scenarios including different games and different different uh, and different bench apps. If you like this video leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel that will help the channel a lot and allow me to bring more content like this and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching.